To understand the enormity of the crackdown, we must revisit the events. 4th June 1989, China declared war on its own people. Tanks and armed personnel were sent to Beijing's Tiananmen Square, the same place where Mao Zedong declared the founding of China. That was in 1949. Four decades later, 1989, the army marched into the square. The target was innocent protesters. They were demanding a corruption-free government. They were demanding freedom of the press, political participation, democracy. Their movement was massacred. The cowardly act was carried out under the cover of night. 4th June 1989 changed China forever. It all began in April 1989. Leading reformer and former Communist Party chief Wu Yaobang died on the 15th of the month. Students poured in to Beijing's Tiananmen Square to mourn his death. Mourners soon became protesters. They were demanding reforms democracy and liberty. Hu Yaobang's memorial service was held on the 22nd of April. At least 50,000 students gathered at the Great Hall of China. They wanted to submit their demands to the government, but they were ignored. A stinging editorial was published in the Communist Party mouthpiece. The People's Daily called the students land conspirators. This enraged the students. Protests escalated. There were marches across China, in Beijing, in Shanghai. Thousands of students gathered at the Tiananmen Square they wanted democracy and nothing less. On the 13th of May, students began a hunger strike. Five days into it, some of them began to faint. People across Beijing brought food to the students. More people gathered on the streets to show support. Communist Party chief Zhao Jiang visited Tiananmen Square along with Premier Li Pend. He urged students to disperse, but they ignored the request and continued camping at Tiananmen Square calling for change. The square soon turned into an island of liberty. On the 30th of May, students unveiled a 33-feet statue. It was called the Goddess of Democracy and modelled on the Statue of Liberty. I think crackdown is political suicide. This free speech did not last. On the 3rd of June, authorities asked people to stay away from Tiananmen Square. No one had a clue what was to follow. Thousands of soldiers assembled outside Beijing. The lights at Tiananmen Square went off. And soon the tanks started rolling in. Troops marched in from all corners. The order from the Communist Party was clear. Vacate Tiananmen Square by 6 a.m. Troops started firing at the unarmed students. There was gunfire throughout the night. The goddess of democracy was pulled down. The movement was crushed. No one knows how many students were killed that night. Estimates range from a hundred to a few thousand. Bureau report, we on World is One.